The victory of the August Revolution in 1945 led the Vietnamese people to a new chapter, the national independence. India was one of very few countries at that time which warmly welcomed the foundation of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam immediately after President Ho Chi Minh declared that Vietnam is an independent country. Britain assisted France in reoccupying its old colony. On the 12th of September 1945, the French forces came back to Saigon and caused the strifes in the southern area. Less than one month after their independence, the entire southern people stood up against the French colonialists on the 23rd of September 1945. In order to get the support and affirm his determination to defend the territorial integrity of Vietnam with his desire of peace, President Ho Chi Minh signed with France the preliminary treaty on 3rd of March. Against the malicious intent to expand the war to the whole Indochina by the French colonialist, President Ho had, on behalf of the Vietnamese people, sent a message asking for the support and assistance from the government and the entire people. Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru showed their support to the struggle by the Vietnamese people. On the 21st of January 1947, the All India Students' Union appealed students of the whole country to respond to the Day of Vietnam. The Indian National Trade Union Congress mobilized all their local units in Kankata, Bombay, Pondicherry to boycott French ships stopping over at Indian ports on their way to Vietnam. Under the leadership of the Communist Party and President Ho Chi Minh, the entire Vietnamese nation continued their resistance against the French colonialists and gained a full glorious victory with the Diet Minh Phu campaign on the 7th of May 1954. And Vietnam forced the French colonialists to sit down for a negotiation in Geneva. In the process of negotiation, like before, the government of India contributed actively to the matter of peace in Indochina, especially in Vietnam. To respond to the goodwill of the fraternal countries that has supported the Vietnamese people's struggle for national liberation, in February 1958, President Ho Chi Minh came to visit India. The meeting between President Ho Chi Minh and Prime Minister Nehru was the meeting of the two heroes in the struggle for national liberation in Asian countries. For a long time, with a plot to divide Vietnam, American imperialists continuously sabotaged the Geneva Agreement. In 1950, the U.S. launched the domino theory with the content, if any country in Southeast Asia falls into the communist group, it will lead to the loss of the entire South Asia, India and Japan. Therefore, after the French colonialists were defeated, the U.S. quickly supported mooring regimes, puppet government, and directly sent their army to Vietnam. With the wicked set up using the Vietnamese people to rule the Vietnamese people, they conducted different destructive wars, and Vietnam became a place for various experiments of advanced bombs and weapons. However, they could not defeat the Vietnamese people's will of struggle. On the 27th of January 1973, the agreement seizing the war and restoring peace in Vietnam was signed at the International Conference Center in Paris, and two years later, the south of Vietnam was completely liberated. On the afternoon of the 30th of April 1975, the day the whole southern Vietnam was liberated, the government of the Republic of India officially acknowledged the interim government of the Republic of Southern Vietnam, and both sides agreed to establish the diplomatic relationship at the ambassadorial level. The history of mankind must mark the glorious periods of the two persistent and steadfast peoples. Those two peoples desired independence and freedom and could not stand to be slaves. We strongly believe that the fraternal solidarity between Vietnam and India in the period of national construction has been developing with stability.